<laughs> that laugh. It sounds like charity. What's happening? I wish I knew. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> charity? That was really great. <laughs> charity, where are you? I'm up here, silly. Hello? <laughs> what are you doing up there? We were worried about you. I know. It was really funny watching you all running around like chickens with their heads cut off, looking for little old me. How'd you get out from behind the rock wall? <laughs> Miguel, I was never behind the rock wall. I heard your voice coming from inside. You're really easy on the eyes, but... You've always been a bit thick. <laughs> well, if you weren't behind the rock wall, then where were you? What's going on here? Oh, what are you up to, zombie? Whoa. Whoa. It's a practical joke. I heard Miguel say that he thought I was behind that wall, and I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> a practical joke? You mean you scared everyone half to death and made everyone believe that you were trapped inside a cave, or worse, for a joke? I'm sorry, Sam, I'm sorry. Oh, I hope you weren't called away from any official police business just for me. No, that's not the point. <laughs> I don't understand why you would play a joke like this on Miguel and the others, because they were worried sick about you. That's right, we were. We thought something horrible had happened to you. <laughs> Making people think that you're in danger is no joke, Charity. Haven't you ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? I said I was sorry. I didn't mean any harm. Come on, honestly. <laughs> well, this was a pretty elaborate practical joke. But how did you project your face into the puddle? Yeah, and then how did you make the puddle disappear? Yeah, that's more than a practical joke. It's magic. How'd you do it, Charity? Come on, Charity. How'd you project your face into the puddle? Yeah, it had to be magic. It wasn't magic. It was just luck. Luck. I was up in the tree having the best time ever watching all of you, and I looked down and I saw my reflection in the puddle. Kate figured it out, really. She was yelling at my image, telling me it wasn't funny. And then Miguel came back. So that's why you're upset, guy? You figured out Charity was playing a practical joke on us? Okay, but how did you do everything else? Like the lights coming through the cracks in the rock? And how'd you make your voice come from behind there? <sighs> it was easy. The light was just reflection from my flashlight. Where is your flashlight? I threw it away. The battery died. Well, then what about the voice Miguel heard? I learned to throw my voice when I was a kid. <laughs> I threw it behind the wall, and then later I threw it in another direction, just to get you guys running all over the place. <laughs> well, I guess you really suckered us. Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry. Really. Please don't be mad. I was just having fun. What about the puddle? How did you make that disappear? Look, there's a crack right there. When the rocks shifted, it must have opened it up or something. I, I saw the water drain into the ground. Hmm. Well, we should get going, TC, since everything seems to be all right here. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here. No, I'm so sorry, Dad. I, I didn't know this was going to be a waste of your time. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad everybody's all right. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna have a little chat later, young lady. Charity, I just remembered. What about the roses we smelled? That was easy, too. I had some old perfume in my bag. I just threw it on the ground. Well, I think you should be ashamed of yourself for making us all worry about you like that. Lighten up, Kay. I mean, come on. If you guys can't take a joke, then to quote a great comedian, Martin Lawrence, Charity! I know you weren't just gonna say that. Okay. 
I was going to say forget you if you can't take a joke. Man, you're no fun. Well, it's late. I'm bored. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm leaving too. Yeah, me, me too. Come on, Kay. Hope you know what you're doing. Hey, Kay, wait up. I'll walk with you. Charity, wait. Ooh. We have some things to talk about. And you're not leaving here until you give me some answers. Um, well, we can talk about this later, right? I mean, it's, it's late. I'm cold. No. We're not leaving here until we talk about this. Okay. Talk about what? The way you've changed. The way you've been behaving lately. You know, why you're so different. What's going on? I don't have to answer these stupid questions. Yes, you do. And we are not leaving here until you do.